because the blank is only 40 millimeters in depth I can't really use a screw chuck so I'm attaching it to a glue chuck. I do tend to overdo the gluing bit. The first step is to true up the blank and remove the wax coating. my Nova 3 chuck later on so I need two inch mortar in the center. This will become the bottom of the bowl when it's finished. Putting the guidelines on the blank will help me see the start and finish of where I want the curve to be. I'm making up the bowl shape as I go along. I'm not exactly sure what I want. So I'm using the round nose scraper and just playing around and seeing what shape forms. At this speed it's interesting to see the curve of the ball taking shape. I also intend to set a coin in clear epoxy in the base of the bowl. So I'm taking out enough wood just to allow this coin to sit below the surface. I just need to make sure I have a slight concave base on the bottom of the bowl so it will still sit nicely should the wood warp a little in the future. After an application of sanding sealer I work my way down through the grits finishing off with a fine abrasive pad. Now it's a coat of Wood Wax 22 and a buff up to a nice shine. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Really smart. I 
I'm just putting a bit of protection on the lathe bed just in case the work decides to take a trip of its own while I'm removing it from the glue chuck. Having a slight chamfer on the face of the glue chuck ensures you still have a small bead of glue left when you've cut most of it away. This remaining glue is still warm from the friction created, so I should be able to remove the workpiece without too much difficulty. Now I swap out the glue chuck for the Nova chuck, so I can work on the front. Because I'm putting some decoration on the rim, the bowl itself is going to be smaller, but I'm after steep but smooth curved sides to allow the coins that it contains to be easily scooped out with one hand. After an initial sanding to remove any of remaining tool marks, I apply sanding sealer before working my way down through the grits again to finish off with a fine abrasive pad. Now it's wood wax 22 and a bit of a buff to give it some shine. And that looks really great. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And it's time for a break. Now, you know when you're just pondering and you suddenly have one of those light bulb moments? Well, I saw something land on the ground and I had a light bulb moment.
Oh yes, I can do something with this. I was so excited, I left me brew outside. The leaves gave me a starting point to scale and bend the shape of the leaves a little so they would curve round the bowl. Now it's time for some extreme pyrography. I want the finish to be dark to contrast with the oak so I did crank up the temperature to achieve a very deep texture. Too much there, I think. <clears throat> the nib was so hot it was igniting the oils in the wood. Not bad. First time I've used the pyrography machine in anger. I rummaged through my collection of pennies and found a 2016 coin. All seemed well, but the epoxy filled up with tiny bubbles and heat did nothing to clear them. All I can assume is the epoxy must have reacted with the coin or possibly the polish I used. I had to remove it, but I could not use the glue chuck. So, I have to remount it on the lathe using the bowl jaws.
time and I decided just to glue it in. So there we are, one oak coin bowl complete with oak leaf decoration. I'm really pleased with the final result, even if it did cost me an additional penny. Jobs are good, thanks for watching.